Hey guys, this is Casey Beeson over with Everett Chevrolet. Um, as I'm sure you can tell, I'm not exactly in a large car uh, to match someone of my size, but we are in a very fun, unique car. This is a 2015 Chevrolet Camaro Z28. Now, I don't know if you really know what these were, is this was Chevrolet's way of saying, this car is not meant for the street. Um, it was 100% intended for track usage and is fantastic at doing that. Um, I mean, these things are just an absolute riot. And we are going to take them on a little short test drive and just kind of see what we get. Um, I'm in the Z28. She is in a 2018 ZL1. Both of these are six speed manuals. Both of these are well equipped cars that are going to be loads of fun to drive. We just, uh, we're going to do a head to head real quick. She's going to give her opinion on them. I'm going to give my opinion on them. And uh, yeah. All right, y'all. I'm in the Camaro ZL1. This car is a manual. So I'm, I'm about to have some fun. Um, I'm not like the most technical person when it comes to cars, but I do know what looks good and what sounds good and what feels good. And this car looks good, sounds good, and feels good. Um, and we're off. This car is super sweet. Like, I would love to drive this. If you're not familiar familiar with these cars, they are not large. And uh, as I'm sure you've all seen in prior videos, I am. Now don't let that deter you, because even though my head's in the ceiling and I you know look crammed in here, it's actually extremely comfortable, other than my hat hitting the ceiling, but that's only because can't be having bad hair days on camera. <laughs> this seven liter is just, it's just an insane engine, especially for a car that handles as well as this one does. You don't feel all the weight over the nose, which you would really expect. It, the chassis is set up, which is fantastic. Well, say it's not exactly a car that you want to get out and thrash on if you don't know how to drive. It will make you regret it. It's just very raw. It's very... It feels complete, but it does not feel like it cares if you live or die. I guess is the best example I can come up with for this thing. Not exactly a monster of a straight line car. It is does have tons of power, but it 100% seems like straight line speed was an afterthought for these guys. Okay, now we are going to get to start the fun part of the drive. So you'll actually get to hear real time feedback on how the car feels. I mean, I apologize in advance for the fact that the only response you'll get from me is that the car feels amazing, the car is awesome, but it's because it is. If you've ever wanted something genuinely fun to drive. Okay, so what are the great things about these cars, both of them really, more so the ZL1 than the Z28, but is as little as they really care for your safety. They're safe cars, but 
that's not at all on their list of priorities. They can be daily driven. I mean, you have to make some concessions. You have to give some things up um, and acknowledge you're going to have very limited rear, yeah, you're going to have very limited visibility. It's a, it's a fifth gen Camaro. They were never known for visibility. That was not something that GM really put on their uh, short list of things that mattered. Um, visibility is low. The ride is not smooth. it in different places they're both exciting engines that are just loads of fun to drive but this is just different this feels more at home on the street it also makes some really cool supercharger noises because this motor was just plucked right out of the z06 corvette and they said let's make an awesome camaro and this chassis handles so well that it resulted in some blistering times at some real racetracks. And not just for an American muscle car. This thing is fast for sports cars. I mean, you can line it up against a ton of cars that cost boatloads of money more than this one. And it's going to hold its own, if not beat those cars. awesome it's a really high strung engine it likes to rev but this 6.2 with the supercharger it's my by far favorite engine the LT4 is just unparalleled in its combination of easy to use power because it just makes it everywhere you don't have to fight it to get it to go fast it wants to go fast and it will beg you to go fast when you're driving it 